Welcome to the Z3 score quick start guide. In this video, we will learn how to install Z3 score and set up licensing, set up a folder for auto scoring, batch score PSG data, set up no click integration where data get scored as they come in, and finally, how to score a single file ad hoc. Let's download Z3 score first from z3score.com and extract it. I have already done that. To install, just click the install uh, icon and it will install the app on that folder as well as on your desktop. Click on Z3 score to start. First thing you have to do is to set up the licensing. Press configure license key, which will open a new window. You don't have to change the server URL, so just press enter and then enter your email address and your license and you are done. You can check your license status by pressing check license status. So here you can see my license expires on 30th April 2020. You can click remove license to remove your license, which I'm not going to do. Press show usage to see your usage level. So for me, you can see these are the number of credits left for me. Now that we are done with licensing, let's move on to sleep scoring. Most important step is to configure a folder for auto scoring. That makes it very easy to batch score data and continuously watch the folder for new data and score them as they come in, which is our no click integration. So let's first create a new folder and put your PHG data in it. Ideally, you should create one folder for each sleep montage. Try to have consistent channel labels so that the auto scoring will work seamlessly. Once you do that, let's go to Z3 score and click configure folder for auto scoring. A new window will open and ask you to select a folder. As soon as you select the folder, Z3 score will read the channel labels of all the PHG data in that folder and ask you some questions. So is C3A to present? Well, in this case, uh, it's yes. Now you have to enter all the C3A2 channel numbers, which for this particular case is just number three. Of course, you can enter multiple channels uh, separated by a comma. You can also re-reference a channel. For example, you can uh, re-reference channel five to channel seven by writing five column seven. Uh, but in this particular case, it's just number three. So I enter number three. Next question is, is C4A1 present? And answer is yes. And the channel number is four. Is EOG left A2 present? Uh, and again, the answer is yes. And is channel number seven. Is EOG right A1 present? Well, in this case, it's missing. So I will say no. Now you do this for all the EEG, EMG, ECG, respiration and SpO2 channel. It will probably take you one minute to two minutes to do this. Once you are done with the channels, it will then ask you whether you want to do spindle detection. Well, I do want to do with this, so I say yes. And then it asks, do you want to do artifact detection? And again, I say yes. Once you are done, it will ask you which formats do you want to save the sleep scores in? If you have a particular format which you want but is not currently supported, let us know and we will add support for it. Now in this particular case, I want to save uh, the scores in Wanambi and hip.edf format, which can be easily opened in open source viewers. Once you are done with everything, it will finally show you the configuration document. You can take a quick look and if everything looks okay, save it by saying yes so now the channel settings are saved in the folder with the name channels.json once the file is there that folder is now ready for auto scoring you can of course edit this document in notepad or you can actually rerun the conf uh, channel reconfiguration again from z3 score anytime you want once you are done with the configuration uh, scoring is actually very easy Let's do batch scoring for all the files in the folder. Press batch score PHG files and just select the folder. It reads the channel configuration and all the PHG files. 
so scoring these files will consume 22.08 credits uh, if that is okay say yes so i'll say yes and then within minutes all the data is scored Now let's move on to the more exciting part, which is our no-click integration, wherein you continuously watch a folder for new data and score them as and when they appear. So press continuously watch folder and select a folder which is already configured. So now as you can see, ZT score is watching this folder. Let me paste a new PHG file here and as soon as it appears the scoring begins and it is scored now be careful though z3 score will not ask for any confirmation so unless you have unlimited credits i would recommend not to use this feature or be careful while using this feature of course this is a very powerful feature and it can make all your scoring task very seamless uh, and easy Finally, you can use the ad hoc score of single file to score one file at a time. If there is a channel configuration present in the same folder as the PHG file, the scoring will be automatic. Otherwise, you will have to manually select the channel labels. Now, this could be very handy for ad hoc data that has inconsistent uh, montage or channel labels or it's maybe missing some of the channels. And you do not want to create a configuration folder just for it. Once you are done with scoring, we include two third party free viewers to visualize and quality check the data. One is Wanambi, which is suitable for researchers, and another is Polyman, which is suitable for clinicians and RPSGTs. We will talk about them in greater detail in the next videos. Of course, you can simply use whatever software and workflow that you are currently using, like Compumatics or RemLogic, and just import the sleep scores directly into these software. If your software vendor is not supported right now, contact us and we will work with you to add support. Finally, you can click the Getting Started button to open this latest tutorial. And you can check for new updates at any time using check for updates button. I hope Z3 score improves your sleep scoring workflow. Do not hesitate to contact us anytime if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you.